me through this concept of the myth of discipline. Yeah. Because when I when I first heard it, it stood out to me. Um, and it sounds like it sounds like you're all about breaking down misconceptions. Mm. It seems like that's what your life's work is all about. Basically. Welcome to day 47 of the 90 day vlog. Have I got somebody special for you today? This is Charles Poliquin, rest his soul. Oh, I miss him so much. I had the huge fortune to learn from him a number of times. And this guy, he blew everybody away when it comes to human performance for decades. From the 80s all the way up until he passed away a few years ago. This guy had so many Olympians medal. He had over 23 different sports medal. 23 different sports. Now talk about being a student of life. This guy was incredible. He not only helped out athletes, but he helped out CEOs. He worked with several different government agencies, including Secret Service of various countries like the Swedish and American. This guy was such a student that he came up with concepts on how to increase a person's speed, strength, and mobility within 10 seconds or less. Like I've used this for the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years. And it really does work awesome. I actually helped a, a Swedish woman's hockey team to improve her standing long jump for uh, increased starting speed, uh, power, she increased it by seven inches within a minute and a half. Seven inches! That's huge! All right, here is Charles Poliquin with the rest of his Myth of Discipline, which this article is awesome. Enjoy. A person could say, I can't eat sugar, so that's the victim, like, I can't eat sugar. Or you could say, I don't eat sugar, which is assertive, right? So the way we speak has a lot of influence on the way we think, and the way we think influences our behavior, which influences our personality. So the, the point of the myth of discipline is that it's what you love the most that dictates what you're going to choose, right? So you could say, I love donuts, I'm going to keep eating, I'm going to be fat, but fuck, don't complain to me, right? Or do you love having abs? Yes, I love having abs. Well, do things that show that you love your body. So, so if, if you, let's say, are overweight, obese, I mean, you're walking the crack the pavement and you're listening to the show, you say, okay, fuck, I'm gonna get in shape. Just change the way you talk, you know? I love being fit. If you keep repeating that 500 times a day, then you're gonna make the right choices, right? But it, it's easier to have discipline if you make the right choice for breakfast. Isn't he a funny guy? <laughs> Thanks to everyone who put this together. I really appreciate being able to pull this up off the internet. You guys were awesome. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'm human performance expert Brad Valancourt.